The Jayhawks are off to their best start in 11 years, but that season also undefeated, stopped against Missouri. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on the College Basketball Previews, breaking down some of the best games all season long, and of course, it's on CBSSports.com and all over the CBS Audience Network. Kansas and Missouri, they certainly earlier this year turned into a great football game, and the Tigers hoping for the same result here as the one on the gridiron. And for more, we bring in CBS's Clark Kellogg to break down Saturday's Big 12 matchup, and you know, Clark, we'll get to Mizzou in a sec because the team followed up a great win against Texas with a loss at Iowa State on Wednesday. But let's start with Kansas. What has made them so dominant this season? Well, there are a couple of things I look at when you talk about dominant teams, Jason. First, how easily do they score and how varied is their offensive attack? And then the other thing is how hard is it for other teams to score on them? Kansas gets an A in both areas because they're excellent in transition. They've got probably the four best two-way perimeter players in the country when you look at Rush, Robinson, um, Chalmers, and Collins in terms of their wing guys. They defend extremely well. They're versatile. They're tough. They can score on the perimeter. They can get to the basket. Um, they're complete two-way players. And then up front, you've got Arthur and Jackson and Sasha Khan. Um, they've got all the ingredients, balanced, tough-minded, extremely um, tenacious defensively, and they score the ball at a high rate. How impressed with you? How impressed are you, Clark, this year with the improvement of Arthur and Jackson? Because that that has been a, a great area of improvement this year. Yeah, it really has been. I loved Arthur when I saw him last year, and I liked the, um, Darnell Jackson as well. And you can tell both of those guys have really worked at improving their individual games. And I think a lot of credit has to go to them individually, but also to Danny Manning, a proven All-American in college at Kansas and a terrific NBA player during his time in the league. Um, I think what he's been able to share with those guys combined with their willingness to put the work in to get better, really starting to um, show its fruit here so far. Yeah, it certainly has been a great assistant for Bill Self. Both these teams, Clark, they're in the top 20 in the nation scoring. You talked about Kansas being so good defensively. They're in the top 15 in field goal percentage defense. So what type of game does Missouri and head coach Mike Anderson want to play here? Well, they've got to play a very close to perfect game, I think. That means low turnovers. Um, everybody that plays for Mike Anderson has to be at close to the top of their game. Good shot selection, knocking down the good shots you get, competing on the glass. Missouri typically turns teams over at the rate of plus six turnovers per game, plus seven, plus six in that area. In conference play, they've been minus four in that regard. So they've got to take care of it, and they also have to find a way maybe to try to turn Kansas over. But again, with those terrific perimeter players, it's hard to get Kansas out of what they like to do. And that's certainly a big part of the reason they lost at Iowa State on Wednesday. They've played tough competition all year long, Clark. They, Michigan State and Cal, Purdue, uh, Maryland, Illinois, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the list goes on. But obviously that helps you get ready for conference play, but are they ready for the best in the conference? Are they ready for Kansas? I don't think they'll be able to handle the Jayhawks. They are as impressive a team as we have in college basketball. They play both ends of the floor extremely well. I think the Jayhawks, despite this being a home game for Mizzou, an intense rivalry, I think Kansas is up to the challenge of getting another win on the road in the league. It certainly is an intense rivalry, and they'll try to get to uh, better what they did in 96-97 when they started 22-0, looking for win number 18 this weekend. Clark, thank you very much, sir. We'll get more games with you in just a little bit. Okay, Jason. Folks, the Big 12's third longest home winning streak, as Clark mentioned, that is Missouri. It's on the line. Tip-off Saturday night at 8 o'clock Eastern. And for more on this game or any other this weekend, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else all over the CBS Audience Network. For Clark Kellogg, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.